What's up, good people? Thank you for tuning in to 4722 Dominique, looking lovely on the budget. Today, I'm coming at you guys as you guys saw the topic, and y'all know how my mouth is. So, if anybody feel like they're going to be offended, I would advise you to click on off because I'm just going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all today. Um, Yes, I'm going to be talking about things that go down south after you have a baby from with your boobs. I mean, they just do. Some people do. But anyway, before I get all into that... I want to say welcome to my new subscribers and thank you to all my old subscribers. Yeah, I got to hurry up because she is getting agitated down here. And, oh, Lord. And I hadn't got her dressed for the day, but I had to come on here to shoot a quick video. Um, my daughter is busy, so I just wanted to come on here and share this information with y'all. But anyway, I um I walked past my mirror. I, I think she was about two months at this time now she's three months she turned three months on the 25th but i walked past my mirror in the bathroom and i just start screaming that was the first time i actually noticed my boob change just just noticed them and i said oh my god i got to do something about these things they look like freaking orangutan titties you know how when you go to the zoo and you see these monkeys and they got their chest just hanging down that I, I couldn't, it just, I was appalled. I mean, you don't want to be always having to have your bra on just to have them perky. And granted, you know, if you got a significant other, husband, whatever, partner, they do love you for you. But let's not get all deep with it. Come on now. You want to take your bra off sometime. And for those of you that, you know, looking at this video saying, oh, my man, he loved me for me. I had his babies. I had five of his babies. Three, two, one, whatever. Yes, I have four. Oh, okay. But at the end of the day, I still want to be confident. I still want to be presentable and like how I look for me. And, I mean, the man want to look at some perky boobs sometime or at least do what you can do. He want to see something without them just hanging down like long teardrops. I mean, come on. You you want to give him a little something. He understand you had a baby. Yeah, I'm sure. But you want to give him a little something to, to look at sometime with your bra off. I mean, God. So if you feel, first of all, the people that feel that way, the women that feel like that, that all deep, he loved me for me, y'all. The main ones, tipping toe around, acting like little CIA agents trying to find videos and creams and, yeah, Nicky Doodle and all kind of stuff to get them things up. But you don't want nobody to know. But it's okay. Go ahead and sneak and inbox me a quick question after this video if you really want to know what I took the time to do. I understand, but you go ahead with your deep self if you want to. But I'm telling you the truth. You got to be confident in how you look in order for your performance in any way to be be good. I'm just keeping it real. I told y'all before y'all clicked on this video or decided to watch it further. So anyway, what I did was went on YouTube, of course, looked at some videos and found this young Asian woman that I just love. And her name is Joanna Sa. I think I'm saying that right. J-O-A-N-N-A-S-O-H. And the name of her video is how to get firmer and uh, firmer and firmer and perky boobs, I think it is. But anyway, she shows you different exercise routines that you can do on a daily basis. So I started doing them Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And it's uh, three, three different ones, 15 of each one a piece. The first one is called a chest press. The second one is um, the incline chest press. And the other one is the chest flat. So you got to do all three of those and do 15 of each one of them a piece. And that's three times a day, Monday, you know, however your three days is to give your body, you know, a little bit of rest in between. Because I had to do something. I'm just keeping it real. I can't have myself looking like I belong to the chimpanzee family. I just didn't like that. I, you know, despite, excuse me, what? I was getting tongue tied, but anyway, excuse me. Despite what scientists may say, we didn't come from no monkeys. My lineage is not with the apes. I'm sorry. You don't want to be walking around here looking like one of them stray dogs, them little mutts that have them titties hanging where they done had so many litters of puppies throughout the year. You don't want to look that like that. You're not no dog. You ain't no stray mutt, no stray dog. 
you ain't no monkey and you don't belong in no chimpanzee, ape, whatever you want to call it, family. We are humans, people. We're humans, women. We're human women. So I just had to come on here to inform you going on over there to Joanna Saw video and check those out. She demonstrates well on how to do these things. Um, I started on, what's this, March the 4th? February. I started February the 16th. So by March 16th, I should see a little bit of result. Now granted, it's not a boob job. Come on now. But it, it going to at least lift them up and firm them up a little more better than they actually were. I believe that because I'm seeing slight results already. And also, um, <laughs> I wanted to come on here as well to talk about um, my hair, my skin, and my nails because after I had her with my hormones and all that good stuff, my hair kind of got dry and started uh, shedding a whole lot because after I had her, after my six weeks, I put a relaxer in. And so after that, six weeks after that, I end up putting my color in as you guys saw my color, my video where I was doing my uh, hair color, demonstrating how to do your hair color at home. Um, and with all those uh, chemicals and with my hormones out of whack, my hair had started shedding and it still is. So what I had to do was um, I went, I just purchased these longer, stronger hair, skin and nails, um, where it says hair and nail vitamins. And as you can see, it has biotin, um, silicia, and collagen. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. I know I'm saying collagen and biotin, right? But I got them from Walmart for $11.88. I originally went to get the um, bias, not the biotin, the Nature's Bounty kind, because I've been seeing a lot of videos on the Hair Infinity and the Nature's Bounty on YouTube, but they didn't have it. Those were eight, $8.98, and those were 11 So I paid a couple bucks more, so they better keep but I'm hoping that they do something. You got to take, uh, take them twice a day, and it's 60 capsules, so... I'll see in 30 days how uh, how the pills work. But anyway, they're kind of long. Oops. Sorry, baby. I'm hurrying up. Mommy, hurry. They're uh, tan on one side and like a pewter, uh, grayish, tannish color on the other side. But they don't have a smell to them. They're very easy to uh, swallow. So also what I incorporated into my little regimen was this... Uh, raw shea butter and it has um frankincense and myrrh in it with soy soy milk frankincense and myrrh i said well if the wise men took it to jesus then surely this soap should work just right for me so for my skin what i'm doing is i started with the proactive plus now um i was using proactive as you guys know if you've been following me so now i'm on proactive plus and i threw this bad boy into my regimen I only do the soap. She's getting sleepy. I only do the soap um, at nighttime and the proactive day and night. So I throw that in my regimen for my nighttime regimen. Okay, okay, okay. You want mommy to hush? See, y'all, that's why I'm come on here and do no videos as much as I would like because she she be tripping. But anyway, so I throw that, that uh, shea butter soap in at night smells amazing i mean just wonderful with my proactive plus routine and that's pretty much put yeah can't get it out pretty much my um my every night routine with my face and in the morning i just use the proactive i don't include the soap so that's what i'm doing for my hair and i'm trying to increase my water intake because it, as you know you got to take care of the inside of your body when you start working on the out, the two go hand in hand if you want to see great results. So I started doing the vitamins and all of that good stuff and doing my uh, Apogee line again for the moisture and add more hydration to my hair since it was shedding like I shared with you. And for my skin, the Proactive Plus along with this hair and nail vitamins. But you got to, like I said, take care of the inside as well as the outside to get the best results. I hope I'm being informative. I'm trying to hurry up with her. Oh, you want to talk? But this is the way the soap looks. It's like the same color as the pills. Smell good. It's a good, nice size block. So it should last a while. And I'm only using it once a day. 
So that's what I'm doing for my skin. Once again, the Pro Active Plus, adding this to my regimen at night. For my hair, I'm taking these vitamins. They help with my nails and, you know, the whole nine. So I'm using this and my Apogee line and doing the hot oil treatments every other week. Well, I was informed, advised to do the hot oil treatment. So I'm doing the hot oil. I'm going to start doing the hot oil treatments. I'm sorry. I'm lying. I, didn't, I ain't doing no hot, hot oil every week. I just not. I'm just, I just got advised to do the hot oil treatment instead of the protein right now. Because if you do protein treatments, then you know it makes your hair really stiff. You can't agitate it because it will pop your hair off. And because my hair is shedding already, I don't want that. So I'm going to do the hot oil treatments for about a month or two. And then I'll go on to the protein um, treatment, the Apogee protein treatment. So I am doing the, uh, yeah, the Apogee line. So I just wanted to come on here and share some information with you. What I was doing. Jump, jump, jump. Say bye, people. Tell them bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. You can say bye bye. Say get off of that. She see herself on the computer. Say bye bye. It's time to go, mommy. Time to go, mommy. Yeah, trying to get off of here. Yeah, trying to get over here to be moving. Yeah. Say hi there. Say hi, Nick and Yoda. Bye, the bye, bye, bye. Hi, Nick and Yoda. Yeah, it's time to go. Say, time to go, mommy. Trying to get off. Say, bye, bye. 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 But anyway, she's demanding my attention. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks to all my new subscribers, you guys. Bear with me, because you see what I'm dealing with. But don't y'all be walking around here with them orangutan titties. Go ahead and do something about them things. And if you, you know, you doing this thing secretly, you acting like you a CIA agent, go ahead and hit me up and inbox me on, on some more questions about this, uh, these exercises to get your boobs lifted up. Because it ain't no sense in walking around shame and wearing a bra like it was part of your skin when you was born. So go ahead on so you can take that bra off and let your significant other enjoy you like you want to. But I understand if you got to pop a boob out, out one side of that bra, then that's what you're comfortable with and rock on with it. But I'm trying to help you so you can be free and let them girls fly a little bit. So anyway, I love y'all. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And you guys will see me in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. And I'll try to get another one out to you as soon as I can. All right. Peace and blessings.